At this point, they just need to create an entire documentary titled Surviving P. Diddy, <laughs> a.k.a. The Booty Tickler. <laughs> because as all of these lawsuits against P. Diddy are coming out, all the truth is getting more and more disturbing, to be very honest with y'all. We've heard stories about him forcing his wife to engage in sexual activity with other men. We've heard about other rappers, other upcoming rappers trying to be coerced into doing sexual activities with P. Diddy for a chance to win Grammys. Like We've heard of a lot of things, but in today's video, we have P. Diddy's ex-bodyguard, I believe his name is Gene Deal, coming out and exposing that P. Diddy has footage of rappers engaging in inappropriate activities. I'm not gonna lie. Having cameras in the crib recording these type of things is absolutely wicked. <laughs> But I feel like that's the things that they need. That's the things that gatekeepers like P. Diddy use to have leverage over up and coming celebrities. Those are the things right there. If I have a video of someone giving another rapper a blow time, best believe you're not going to tell on anybody else. Because if you tell on anybody else, I'm going to leak the video of you giving this man and I saying the guap guap 3000. And that's the part that gets a little dangerous, right? We're about to hop into this video right here. And after this video, we're going to be hopping into another video of where apparently a rapper by the name of Lil Rob, Little Rod, excuse me, was promised a Grammy if he were to do some booty tickling activity with P. Diddy himself. Make sure I do leave a like down below and subscribe. But let's hop into this video, y'all. I mean, I didn't know he was going through all that, but he also alleged in this lawsuit that, you know, Diddy, he got a whole lot of hidden cameras around his house, and he feels like Diddy is using all that footage for blackmail. Probably so. I could believe that. I could believe that. I believe it's a lot of rappers, a lot of music people, a lot of executives that could not say no. Cat Will say, you just got to say no to Diddy. You just got to say no. And there's a lot of people that couldn't say no. And they probably on tape because they couldn't say no. So you think it's possible that Diddy, he got footage of rappers in the stash just in case he got to use it for blackmail? It's a possibility. I, 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 it's not far-fetched. If, if, if he was taping Cassie, and he was having Cassie taped and everything like that. Why wouldn't he do nobody else? She's the only one. I doubt it. That's a fact. Right. I mean, good point, man. But did you hear about that story from the actor Columbus Short? He told a story and about... One thing is for sure, even when it came to things like Epstein's Island, the reason why Epstein had an entire journal of the people who visited his island, as well as camera footage, that's all tactics to keep everybody safe. You get what I'm saying? The reason why it keeps everyone safe is because if you guys are all equally invested, if you guys all have an equal level of dirt on each other, no one is going to tell. No one is going to snitch. You feel me? No one is going to snitch. Because snitch. I already know if I snitch, then you could leak something on me. And if you snitch, I could leak something on you. So that's we're just all going to stay quiet and we're not going to expose anybody. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. That's the same thing that he got going on, bro. Oh, did he? He invited him to his house late at night? I believe him. I believe the Clemens Short. Yo, bruh, why would that man come out? He got a whole wife or whatever. Come out and say that Diddy did something that he didn't do. He could have said anybody else. But Columbus Short, he let people know straight out the rack. Yo. If they talking about some homosexuality sh and it's about Diddy, it may be true. Because he tried me. Damn. That's what he said. That's what Columbus Shaw said. He tried me. And you notice the guys that don't fall for that sh they not popping in the industry. They not working. They not going to Hollywood. They not doing it because it's people like him that they cut short. Like Cat Williams said, when they don't give up their booty hole, they don't give up that sexuality, 
they cut them short. That means they're not working in the industry like that no more. But looking at this lawsuit, right, why do you think Little Rod is naming all these people in this lawsuit? Witnesses. He needed witnesses. And whether they work for Diddy or not, if they get caught lying on the stand about anything and he has proof that certain things happen, my man, he put me in a lawsuit. I wasn't even around this. My name is in there. Your name is in there. You understand? So my whole thing about it is, is that he want enough witnesses because you got to realize this. This is not a criminal case. This is a civil case. So now in a civil case, he has to prove that he was unjustly done. That Diddy did him wrong. Because if you read the lawsuit, he financially said, yo, give me 50000 and give me my publishing and we good. Diddy only gave him 29000 and didn't give him none of his publishing. And he wrote nine songs. So now he's going to add all these people, the, the, the weight, what was uh, the uh, chef them, seen Diddy walking around naked. One other chef <laughs> prior to this particular chef made claims and sued Diddy before because he was walking around her naked. So remember I said behavior don't change? He doing the same shit he did with the first chef. The girl who put, uh, the girl who uh, sued him before. So now he's doing it again. So all yeah, the people, the, the chef, though. the uh, uh, P Diddy can't even walk around his own crib naked, bro. That's tough. I really want to get into this video right here. It says Diddy promised Lil Rod a Grammy if he engaged in gay activity. Huh? Huh? The, be the, the beginning portion of this video, I'm not going to lie, I started watching it. The beginning portion of this video is literally just about uh, P. Diddy having his son recruit young girls to come to parties. Huh? Huh? Bro, this whole, this whole P. Diddy saga, it, it, it continues, bro. Man, so how old are you or something like this? I'm like, I'm like 16. I him to know. But let's get into the nitty gritty. So yeah. what did that say? Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. And looking at this lawsuit, right, Little Rod, he alleges that, you know, did he promise him a Grammy if he participated in homosexual activity? I read that, man. You know what I'm saying? And what kind of power do you have when you could promise somebody a Grammy, a Grammy award? Who are you doing something with or who do you know that can promise Beyonce can't. Did Beyonce get a Grammy for anything? Did she get a Grammy for an album or anything like that? How she got a Grammy? She got Grammys before, right? Isn't it funny how whenever they talk about Grammys and awards, they always refer to Beyonce and Jay-Z? Once again, gatekeepers of the industry. <laughs> like, those are the people that they look to. Those are the gatekeepers of the industry. P. Diddy is that person of power. Why do you think he grooms, we're going to use that word, grooms these up-and-coming celebrities, even down to fucking Justin Bieber? What does Justin Bieber and P. Diddy have in common, bro? What in the world do they have in common? They do not make the same type of music. They do not, like, they're... Huh. Once again, huh. I don't understand what they have in common. I really don't. But P. Diddy's going to make sure that he has a hand in everything. And that's the reason why he has those tapes. And that's the reason why he promised Little Rod a Grammy if he engaged in gay activity. Because he has that power. Yeah, she got Grammys, but she never got one for album of the year, though. Right. So, if she never got a, a Grammy for album of the year, and Diddy could promise a producer, if he's in a homosexual act, that he could give him a Grammy, what kind of power, who he doing, or what he know, that he could get that done? That's some kind of spooky shit. Bro, no disrespect. That's real spooky. If he could promise somebody, and good thing the kid didn't believe him, because if the kid would believe him, he might have got his booty hole toe up. <laughs> so tickled. my whole thing about it is, <laughs> listen here, man. Tickled, man. He has to have some real power, but he showed us his power. Remember at the BET Awards, 
Remember when they was trying to go to commercial? And he said, nah, we're not good. Whoever done that, bro? Whoever stopped the people <laughs> from going to commercial? Nobody ever did that but Diddy, bro. So he had some kind of power at one time. We don't know if he still got that power. But at the BET Awards, when they wanted to go to commercial, he did not allow them to go to commercial. So evidently, he knows somebody or he doing somebody or somebody doing him, allegedly. You talking about when he was giving that speech at the BET Awards for the Lifetime Achievement Award? When he gave his speech, he just kept going, bro. He just kept going and wouldn't stop. And he said, it don't, it don't matter how much it costs. We're going to keep going. And they wouldn't even go to commercial. That's never happened before, bro. Never. It's an interesting gentleman, if you ask me, my fellow ladies and gentlemen, you feel me? Look, this is the type of stuff I'll be watching right here. I don't... I really don't even be in tune with what's going on. The only time I watch content like this is when I'm reacting to it with y'all. I'm going to be completely honest. But on my free time, I'm really getting in tune with nature. I'll be outside nowadays, you know what I'm saying? The weather is beautiful. Your boy just came back from St. Lucia. I was touching palm trees. You know, I was playing with locals in the sand and in the water and shit. You feel me? Going on hikes, all type of nature-filled activities. I came back to Miami. And when I'm not outside, I'm watching more nature. Do you see what I'm trying to tell you? Like, I'm really trying to increase my frequency by, by getting away from all this booty tickling activity and getting more in tune with, you know what I'm saying? Where we really come from. Nature. Our organic selves. You walk outside nowadays, you see a girl with two plastic balloons in her, in, in her chest. You see her eyes filled with something. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I come to find out the injections that girls get in their lips, they actually dissolve. Where the fuck does that go? I got dissolvable gel getting put in your lips. Where does that go? Into your bloodstream? Something? That's a GMO shorty right there. If you ask me, that is a genetically modified woman. I'm trying to get back to the organics, you feel me? I'm trying to get back to the, we call those OGs, the wholesome woman, you feel me? The, the real, the organic the non-GMO, organic, grass-fed. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean grass-fed, moo, eating from the... I'm talking about grass-fed, like, they eating a good salad with the wraps, with the chicken on the side. You, you know what I'm saying? The proper diets, taking care of her body. She got to look good. <laughs> she got to look good. She just not GMO. That's all. I be trying to get in tune with nature. You feel me? Because a show like this, I'm not going to lie to you. A show like this will really will really break down to you, like, the levels of a kingdom. You get what I'm saying? Like, it will break down to you. And in my mind, it really breaks down society. Like, you have people who are considered alphas. You know what I'm saying? That quote-unquote cliche alpha male shit. The lion is the alpha. And it goes even as deep as... There will be two lions and their brothers, and they will try to kill each other in order to have the woman to mate. That's crazy. That really shows a level of competition in nature that even humans experience that shit. It's like a level of competition. And the girl will only get the girl will only allow mating rights to the most dominant lion. Therefore, you gotta be the king of the fucking jungle to get the girl that you want, my boy. And ladies, you shouldn't be giving up to no scrub. <laughs> It says it right here. You watch a show like this and it lets you know. It shows you. It shows you. You don't have to watch fucking the Fresh and Fit podcast. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to watch none of that shit. Watch a fucking nature show. Watch a watch a show about the, you know what I'm saying? Niggas used to have conversations about the birds and the bees. Watch a, watch a video like that and you will realize how far away we are from our our natural selves like everybody is just fed these ideologies fed these lifestyles all of these things that we should be worrying about i don't agree with it man that's the reason why i don't really pay attention too much to what's going on i just come across videos like this p diddy promised Lil rod a grammy if he engaged in gang huh 
that shit is bamboozling in my mind. I'm I'm watching, I'm watching a lion and a lioness and their cubs eat an elephant and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 in tune with nature right now, my baby. And then you over here talking about two men performing gay activity for an award that's just as valuable as this bottle of water. That shit don't mean anything. Huh? That shit don't mean anything. And yet, you about to give a man a blow, a blow. Come on, y'all. I'm done. Make sure I do leave a like down below and subscribe. If y'all made it up to this part of the video, I want y'all to leave in the comment section right here. Nat Geo. You feel me? If you made it to this part, leave in the comment section right now. Nat Geo. Let me catch on next one, man.